everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing a wear test on the elf portless putty primer um this is how the primer looks comes in a little container looks like this the claims for this primer are that it minimizes your pores it fills them in and that it controls with oil what <laughs> no it helps with oil control um now people do say that this is a dupe for the tatcha primer i've never tried that primer and i will not be trying it only because it is hella expensive and i just don't do the high-end stuff but anyway um if you guys would like to see how the primer wears and how it works then go ahead and keep on watching first and foremost i'm going to spray my face with this first I'm running out clearly. Mm. Anytime I'm running out of this, it like sprays hella weird. Even the ALF one does that. Like when it's running low, it like shoots at you, and I'm like, bro. Mm -hmm. Chase on asleep, so that's why that door is a little open because if he doesn't see me or hear me when he wakes up, or if he doesn't see Paul or hears Paul when he wakes up, then he freaks out. I'm like, calm down, it's okay, we're here. <laughs> Paul's not here, but I'm here. But either way, he freaks out. Oh my god. I hate this. Ew. I need to go buy another one because that has been really helping my face. And I just got my, um, what's that brand called? Mario Badescu stuff in. And like I did it with, um, like you put in what you need help with if your face is oily or dry or if it's combo. And my face wasn't all messed up yet when I ordered this. So, um, they sent me a bunch of stuff that helps with oil control and now I'm like, I don't know if I want to use this because what if it dries my skin out some more and I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> but I don't know, I'll see. I do have a little bit of breakouts, so um, sorry <laughs> if that bothers you, I don't know. My eyes are still irritated, so. I just don't want to mess this up. Look how pretty it is. Like, I don't even want to use it. But we're going to use it anyway. Um, I guess. I really have to, huh? I've had this for weeks. I've been looking for this for everywhere, first of all. And I finally found it at Walmart. And um, Paul was like, get it. Like, you've been looking for it. They're out of stock online. Ulta doesn't have it, blah, blah, blah. I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to get it. And he's like, just get it. And he grabbed it, and we got it. Um... But yeah, I really should not be messing with my eyes, but it's so hard not to. So I'm just, oh wow. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna put that on there. Put it over here. Oh wow, guys, a little bit goes a long way. Like literally, that's all I got. And put it, let me grab a little bit more. Put it down here. That's all I grabbed. <laughs> Sorry if you hear me like a sniffy and shit. My nose is messed up. Everything about me is messed up since I moved here to Vegas. And I'm just gonna rub it in with my fingers. No, I did it here because this is usually where like, oh, that's a lot right there. <laughs> that's where I get oily. So. Oh. Something is drying my face up. What is it? Because I can feel it already. It's not this primer because 
um, it's like on the outer. I hope it's not that spray. I hope nothing is going on with that spray now. Oh my gosh. Every time I find something that works for me, it just doesn't work for me after all. But okay, that's all rubbed in. Um, now we're going to go into the foundation. Um, I really think I'm just going to speed up the whole face and eyes thing just because this is for the primer so yeah I'm not gonna speed it up too fast but I'll speed it up a little bit Okay, so that is the completed look. I did just go ahead and add a little bit of eyeshadow onto my crease and then dragged it out onto my lid. I didn't do nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, um, I can totally tell you that it definitely filled in my pores and my oil spots on my forehead definitely did get controlled. And I'm sorry for that weird lighting at the beginning. Um, it's raining, so it started to get a little bit dark. So I turned the light on and um i thought it would help with the lighting but honestly it made it worse so that's why at one point you guys see me turn it away um it helped a little bit but when i had it like right in my face it was just a white cast <laughs> but yeah it definitely did fill in my pores i can definitely see that i wish i had a better camera so i could show you guys um but overall, I really like how the primer worked with my skin. Now, I did use the Acne Fighting Foundation by e.l.f. only because I'm having a lot of breakouts, so I didn't want to irritate those breakouts with anything else. Um, but other than that, I'm really loving how the primer works. It definitely, definitely, definitely filled in my pores. Like, my pores right now are non-existent. And I really like that. Now... This isn't a pore and it's not a pimple. It's a now a beauty mark for my old piercing. Um, 
it's it's just a, a scar from my piercing i took my piercing out i had a piercing when i was in junior high on my lip and was it junior high no summer summer before high school and then a little bit in freshman year and it just left a mark ever since but yeah um overall the claims on the primer are definitely true it worked really well it just smoothed my face out and um now the acne fighting foundation it doesn't have much coverage so usually when i use it i can see my pores still um not not a lot but a little bit and right now i just do not see them at all i don't know if you guys can tell but my pores are non-existent so the claims on point um but yeah we will not we will <laughs> i will be doing in check-ins later to see if my pores start peeking through if my face gets oily or anything like that now it's not so much for the foundation it's so much for the pores um and the oil spots that go crazy on my forehead and my chin so well um why can't i talk like i can never talk when i'm filming and i don't know why because i'm usually hella comfortable in front of the camera um i'll do check-ins okay i'll do two check-ins later just like i did last time um now the reason why i didn't do them both in one video is because I wasn't too sure how the foundation was going to wear, so I was just sticking to what I know works for me. So with that foundation, um, I wanted to give it a fair shot. I didn't know how the primer works or if it even worked for my, for my pores or anything like that. I have huge pores, like huge. Um, you can never see them in pictures. I don't know why. I don't edit them out, but my pores are ginormous. Um, so I just wanted to give the foundation a fair shot. I wasn't sure if the primer was going to work for me. So I stuck to what I know and what works for me. And that's why I used the foundation like that. And that's why I didn't use the other foundation. Because that was the only time I used it. I haven't worn makeup since that day. Um, so I just stuck to a foundation that I know works for me. And I know still shows my pores a little bit when I use it. So I wanted to see if it really filled my pores in, you know. And it really did. Mm. So I will give you guys a few check-ins later on. So yeah, I see you guys. <laughs> I can't talk. I'll see you guys later. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope you guys continue to enjoy it. And we'll see how the primer works and wears. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, so it's been about five hours that I've been wearing this makeup. And um, I was gonna do a little check-in earlier, but I didn't feel the need to because I wasn't oily anywhere. And now um, I'm a little bit oily on my cheeks, on my forehead and my chin. So the places that I put the, um, the primer. So I'm just gonna do a little blotting with my e.l.f. blotting sheets. That's what they look like. Comes with 50 of them. This way, I'm just gonna dab it a little so not much came out but I did feel the need to blot um, honestly the makeup still looks good so I'm really liking this primer um, I really have no complaints about it like everybody's been saying it's amazing and let me tell you guys I have been waiting to find out if it is or not it's definitely amazing it blurred all my pores they are still not peeking through which is super good and yeah um i really recommend it i give it nine out of ten <laughs> it's not a 10 out of 10 because i haven't found a primer that's a 10 out of 10. you know what i give this a 10 out of 10. it blurred my pores it controlled my oil usually i get oily like within two hours it has been five and i usually don't wear my makeup for longer than five to six hours or like um a full shift anything like that i've never really worn makeup all day from morning to nighttime um so it's looking good pores are still not showing so 10 out of 10 
go buy it i believe it's only eight dollars that's a steal compared to uh, 52 from the tatcha primer um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and comment down below what you guys want to see next